Hi, in this video I'll be explaining what we can learn about stars without ever visiting them. The stellar spectrum of a star provides a series of clues that tell us a surprising amount. In my video, Emission and Absorption Line Spectra, I explained how line spectra are formed. In summary, absorption line spectra are the result of gases in a star's atmosphere, we can see it here uh, during a solar eclipse, absorbing certain frequencies of radiation. As these photons are absorbed, they excite electrons to move to a higher energy level. These electrons then relax back to their ground state and they release a photon as they do so. This released photon may travel in any direction, not necessarily the same direction that the original photon uh, was travelling in, which results in certain wavelengths of light not reaching us. These wavelengths show up in the absorption line spectrum as dark lines. The lines represent unique fingerprints of the elements that are present in that star's atmosphere. So this technique led to the discovery of helium in the sun more than a decade before it was discovered on Earth, hence it is named after Helios, the Greek god of the sun. Physicists can categorise stars based on their chemical composition by comparing their absorption spectra, i.e. looking for certain chemical fingerprints within the absorption spectra. Because these patterns are consistent within a spectral class, within a certain type of star, if we see that a star has a pattern that is shifted towards the red end of the spectrum, redshift, that means we can apply the Doppler effect to deduce that it is moving away from us. Likewise, if the spectral pattern is blue shifted, we can deduce that the star is moving towards us. But that's not all. Our spectral analysis can tell us even more. Using Wien's law, the peak wavelength of light received from a star can be used to determine the star's surface temperature. If we know the distance to the star, we can use the apparent brightness to work out its luminosity using the inverse square relationship. And finally, using that luminosity and the surface temperature, we can apply the Stefan Boltzmann law to determine the star's surface area and therefore its size. So as you can see, studying a star's spectrum from many light years away can tell us an awful lot about the properties, the size of that star. Thank you for watching this video from Cowan Physics. If you found it useful, please like, subscribe and visit cowanphysics.com.